It was a day when Britain did whatever it could to keep cool. From pools to lakes, people flocked to water. Brockwell Lido in South London had to call in the police after being overwhelmed. Oi! Beaches too drew crowds from early morning. At least here, there was a slight breeze. It was about escaping London. We needed to get out of the hustle and bustle of the town and come into the coast with our kids. But it does seem to be getting hot. quite yeah, quite hot now, doesn't it, to where it used to be. It's a lot more, oh, yeah. more intense heat as well oh, than what it used to be, yeah. Climate change, <laughs> yeah. not very good, is it? But for those who had to work, the record-breaking heat was a curse. These builders retreated indoors, the drinks on ice. If you're on the beach, this weather's fantastic, but on a building site, it's not so great. You know, when you start getting to temperatures above 30 degrees, there's a lot of uh, problems that can be occurred with rendering, with painting, with putting guys outside to be digging. Scientists at Reading University have been monitoring the weather for 111 years. So we keep the thermometers in the box to keep the sun off them. It's never been this warm in July. It's currently reading 33 and a half degrees. This time of year, obviously, the sun's really strong and there's not much evaporation to happen. We've also got this big factor of this southerly wind brought in by the low pressure that will come through sort of on Friday and towards the weekend, but it's pulling up the air that's really hot from south of France and Spain, North Africa. That air's really warm. And much of Europe is baking in the same heat. Look at the temperature trends and you see the red flags of climate change. Last month was the warmest June on record and nine of the planet's ten warmest years have all been this century. Get used to the heat. It will be the new normal. At the Met Office's headquarters, scientists watched as July temperature records tumbled. They've warned that within just a few decades, Britain will be enduring extreme heat waves every other year. Yes, we've had extreme weather in the past, but with climate change, the potential for having unprecedented extremes has, has raised, and therefore the importance of people being aware, and so, for example, the heat wave uh, advice that we give out the metals is really important there, because it allows people to prepare and potentially to adapt their plans. Someone tell the train companies the wrong sort of heat damaged overhead wires outside London St Pancras. Elsewhere, there were delays as trains ran at reduced speed on rails at risk of buckling. But at least one person had the right idea. Extreme measures in a warming world. Thomas Moore, Sky News.